outcome biologists this session where we're going to take a look at how the heart rate is initiated and coordinated so within the heart we have what's known as the san which is a sinoatrial node and the avn which is the atrioventricular node and you do need to know what the avn and the sen stand for now the heart can create its own wave of excitation which spreads across the atria it does not need a nerve to tell it to undergo this wave of excitation yes nerves might cause the heart rate to increase or decrease but the heart is its own pacemaker so the heart can initiate its own wave of excitation its own heartbeat without the aid of a nerve or a hormone and this means that the heart is myogenic in it creates its own nerve impulse and we need to know how that occurs so the first thing that happens is the san releases a wave of excitation that spreads over both atria causing the atria to contract simultaneously really important we say that simultaneously or at the same time and this is atrial systole so by causing the atria to contract at the same time, this causes the blood pressure inside the atria to be higher than that of the ventricles. So the blood is forced from the atria into the ventricles through the atrial ventric ventricular valve, which is now open. Now, once that has happened, the wave of excitation is sent to the AVM, which is here. And what happens at the AVM is there is a short delay in this nerve impulse being sent any further. And it's really important that we have this short delay within the wave of excitation. And that is because we need time to allow the atria to empty of blood and force the blood into the ventricles. If there wasn't a delay here at the AVM, there wouldn't be enough time for the blood to enter into the ventricles. And the, the pumping of the blood around the heart would not be efficient. So after there's been a short delay at the AVM, the wave of excitation then spreads down the bundle of Hiss into the perkine fibres which line the ventricle wall and it causes the ventricles to contract from the apex, which is this part of the heart, from the apex upwards. And what that does is it forces the blood from the bottom of the ventricles through up through the semilunar valves which are now open and into the arteries that take the blood away from the heart. So at this point, this is causing ventricular systole. The blood pressure in the ventricles is higher than that of the atria. Therefore, the atrial ventricular valves here are closing and the semilunar valves here are opening. So therefore, the blood is passing through the semilunar valves into the arteries that take the blood away from the heart. Now, once that has happened, there'll be, um, again, a short period of time where there is no wave of excitation occurring which would be diastole where the heart muscle is at rest and then the SAM would release another wave of excitation that spreads across both atria. Um, so that's all the information we need to know but what I've done here is put in an exam question um, to demonstrate to you what might be asked. Now this is very typical of a type of question that might be asked where you would have to describe um, how the action of the heart is initiated and coordinated using the SEN and the AVN. So using this term initiated and coordinated, that's always the terminology that they will give you in the question if they want you to talk about the SEN and the AVN. So it's a five marker. You need to make sure you put in five marking points. If you wanted to, you could use bullet points to illustrate your answer. Um, and if it does help, you can even uh, draw a picture if you wanted to, to help you. None of those things will mark you down. But it's very important in your exam that you do only use the space they've given you because when as an examiner you are only given this space you're only given the answer that the student's written so if you write down here where there's a blank piece of paper the examiner might not necessarily see it so please make sure you're using the space provided by the exam question so what have a go at that pause the video and have a go and the mark scheme is coming up now in three two one there we are. Make sure you're looking at both sides. Make sure we're looking at what they don't accept as well. So electricity signal and message, they do not like that. Stick to way with excitation. And guys, good luck with your exam and all the best with your studies.